if after you have logged into Fortnite and you're stuck in the lobby in your Xbox console, here is a video where I'll show you some simple steps to fix this problem. First and foremost, what you have to do is try power cycling your console. For this, you have to turn off your console, unplug the power cord from back of the console and wait for at least two minutes. Now when the console is turned off, hit the power button and hold it for a couple of seconds until any remaining power is left. This will also clear your cache. After that, plug the power back into the console, turn your console back on again and then start the game, see if that helps. Next step, what you can do is, this issue may happen due to some network bug. So try changing your network. What does it mean is, if you're currently playing the game in your Xbox using a LAN cable or probably a Wi-Fi from a particular LAN connection, try using your mobile hotspot. Simply just turn on your hotspot, connect your Xbox using the Wi-Fi to that hotspot, try to log in into the game, see if that helps. Next step, enable QoS on your router. Now some routers have the capability of prioritizing game packets in order to lessen network problems in different different games. This feature is called as quality of service or in short form we call it as QoS. If your router has this capability, do some research using Google on how to enable QoS for your router as exact steps can vary for different devices. Alternatively, you can consult the documentation or the manual of your router to know more. If your router was provided by the internet service provider, contact their technical support team in getting help of enabling QoS. Next step, check your console's power settings. Some consoles have a power saving mode that can cause issues while loading times. Make sure that your console is set to performance mode instead of power saving mode in the settings. Next step, check any conflict with other games or apps. Make sure that Fortnite is not getting any conflict with other games or any of the recent new software that you have installed in your console. This can cause issues like loading time or blue screen. Next step, try a different account. If you're using a shared console, try logging into a different account to see if the issue is specific to one account. You can use a PC or any other console or Android in order to log in and see if you're facing the issue over there also. If the issue is not there, then probably it's a minor technical issue of Xbox which will be eventually fixed. But if the issue is there, then you can proceed further to the next step. Lastly, we're gonna change the DNS server manually. To do this, press the Xbox button on your console select profile and systems then go to settings general and click on network settings select advanced settings from your network screen options and select dns settings from here you have to select manual and enter the dns settings from there you need to choose the dns server provided by your isp or the public dns server i would suggest you to put a public dns server for the primary one you need to input as 1111 secondary would be 1001 which is a cloudflare dns server you can also use the Google DNS server which is 8888 and 8844. But the Cloudflare DNS server is more stable for me if you compare with the Google DNS server. But you can try both and see which one is more stable for you, you can use that. So that was a video on how to fix the loading screen in the lobby in your Xbox. If you're facing this problem in any other console or PC, you can put down in the comment section. I'll try to help you out as fast as possible. If this video helped you, please don't forget the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.